Koppel, host of the Time for Coffee podcast, where you get firsthand career advice into the jobs and industries that interest you the most. And before we start today's show, I have a quick favor to ask you. If you haven't already, I'd be incredibly grateful if you give us a rating and a review on iTunes. And if you're like me, you need to do it now because you'll forget later and because it's the best way to help others who may be in search of career advice to find this free resource. So press pause if you haven't done it and do it right now. I'll wait. Thanks so much and enjoy today's show. Hey there, Java Junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or ten minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Adam Broda. Can you take us into a typical day for you on the job? We are doing this interview in mid-February of 2022. You're obviously still, quote unquote, working from home because you're staying with your in-laws right now in Virginia. You're not even back on the West Coast where you and your wife and children live. So what does it look like, Adam? A day in the life of product. And, and again, it, it does change per level. I would tell you that I spend a fair amount of time reading, critiquing, and even writing research papers. Much of what we do in the product space comes back to selling an idea for a solution. And to do that effectively, we need data to drive the conversation. So papers are also where that data kind of gets compiled. And I'm often reading idea papers from my team. I have a team of product managers that manage our portfolio of stuff. So I'm advising and consulting to some degree them in terms of how to sell their idea and who their audience is and their stakeholders are. Aside from that part, I'd say I spend a lot of time day to day in brainstorming sessions, in product development discussions. And that's really fun part of my job is where I get to talk with lots of different people from lots of different skills, even different companies at some times. And we just talk about Let's think big and let's get creative and let's try to solve a problem in a space that no one has ever approached from a perspective. And I love the creative side of my job. And that's probably another pretty big chunk. And then I'd say the third big chunk of how my day is often spent is in one-on-ones with employees. At the senior level, you've got a team of a couple different other teams. And I speak with managers. I have one-on-ones with, with skip level folks and I like to spend you know roughly 20 to 30% of my time in a given day with people directly giving feedback or talking about what's going on with them. And yeah, in a nutshell, that's that's typical of what my day looks like. I spend a lot of time with products. I spend a lot of time with people. And I spend a lot of time figuring out how to sell those products. What does skip level mean? Skip level just means that uh, one level beneath, beneath me would be a manager and then their direct report. So every once in a while, I'll meet with people that report to someone that is beneath me to get feedback and talk about how we could do things better and just meet and learn them. I, I'm a big fan of getting to know my team. So that's what we mean by skip level. So how large is your team and how many direct reports do you have? I have... Man, it's been a while since I thought about this. <laughs> I think I have seven direct reports. And then my team, I'd say about half of those direct reports are managers. The other half could be senior research folks or, or principal product folks that, that don't necessarily want to be people managers. So I'd say it's about half and half. I've got some individual contributors that report to me. And then I have people managers that report to me. But my organization is comp- really comprised into three groups. There's a software engineering team. There is a product management team. And then there's a research team. All in all, we're a handful of folks, I- I'd say, somewhere in the 20 to 30 range, depending on (laughs) the given month. Sometimes we have contractors come in for different project work. So sometimes that number goes up or down. But that's roughly what we look like. We're we're relatively lean. 
it's lean, but I have to tell you, seven direct reports, that's a handful. <laughs> it's nothing compared to what I had when I was at Boeing. At, at Boeing, there were times where I had upwards of 40, 50 direct reports. That's not something I would ever wish on my worst enemy. That was a ridiculous number. But yeah, I, seven is uh, something that's it's still a lot, but totally manageable. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to this latest episode of T4C. And if you're interested in learning more about my coaching services for confused college students and recent grads, feel free to check out the Time for Coffee website under the coaching tab at time, the number four, coffee.org or text me at 202-236-5712. That's 202-236-5712. Thank you.